Enough of the new machines already. Let's see something with a bit of age. And here it is in the shape of this limited edition from WSI. It is a DAF 2600 tractor, coupled with a Notabom single axle ODU trailer. It's in the colours of the Dutch company Van Marnen. The DAF 2600 is an old timer, first built in 1962. Ah yes, 1962, a time when televisions were black and white and you could actually trust what you watched. So let's go for an old timer get together as we attach the tractor and trailer. This is old style so there's no proper kingpin and there's just a shallow downstand which fits into the fifth wheel. But once located, it works well enough. The old style chassis has leaf springs detailed and the other components are there to be seen as well including the oil sump and an exhaust. The spare wheel is carried underneath and the thin tyres have different tread patterns front and rear. The old style DAF cab looks great with its distinctive windscreen wipers and the detailing on the front is really nice including lights and a number plate. Up on top the detailing is also very nice with a textured roof and tiny spotlights. Also very nice is the old style headboard and our old friend Bibendum. The old style mirrors and door handle bring back memories and WSI have done a very nice job with the detailed graphics. Other nice details are the indicators, stepping plate and wheels. The back of the cab has the old style windows and there are coiled lines. A delicate touch is the highlighted rivets on the wheel arches. The rest of the chassis looks quite authentic. There's a shaped fuel tank and a detailed structure and on one side you can see the spare wheel. At the back are the old fashioned lights and number plate. The old style trailer has a nicely curved gooseneck with the Notabome logo and the ribs on the structure are detailed. On the deck side there's another Notabome logo and along the edges the brackets to extend the width are detailed in the casting. The old style rear end also looks great with its many graphics. Starting underneath the daft, the rear wheels turn well enough and the steering is notched and quite stiff. The steering angle that can be achieved is very moderate. Out on the cranes etc test track, the daft rolls along reasonably well in a straight line. And if we adjust the steering, it will trace a shallow curve. If you're longing for another feature, well here's a feature that goes long. And that's the extendable deck. It is possible to pin the extension at various lengths by inserting the steel pin, but it's not something that's necessary if you don't want it. The interesting old style feature of this trailer is how it was loaded. The axle pairs are disconnected and then each axle set rotates outwards. That then facilitates rear end loading, but you'd need some timbers to get up onto the deck. Or maybe some ramps for a pie wagon. What? Where the hell did that pie wagon come from? Let's go for a proper old timer load, and here's a Rustin Bucyrus 22RB. There is another display option for the model, and that involves fixing the deck posts. They are metal, and they're a good fit. Models of historic equipment are a welcome change from the new stuff and this old DAF and trailer is a nicely executed model. The detailing is of a high standard and there's some nice functionality too and it's a nice limited edition package. So if you want a bit of history this one is very good. 